Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today marks the embargo release of AMD's third gen Ryzen 3 CPUs, and with it brings four cores and eight threads to the budget sector. Remember that not long ago, quad core CPUs were the golden standard for gaming, or really in general, since the best mainstream processor had only four cores. Then AMD shocked the world with their first gen Ryzen launch, and now we're on the third generation, and the premium has become budget. That's always a plus in my eyes, but as more and more gamers get their hands on six or more cores, along with consoles including more cores, game developers have begun utilizing more than ever. And even though we've seen AMD's new 3300X hold its own against Intel's best i7 from just a few years ago, is four cores still good enough for gaming today? To answer that, I pitted the four core, eight thread Ryzen 3 3300X against the eight core, 16 thread 3700X, as well as the 3700X with two cores disabled, so essentially a 3600X. And a quick thank you to AMD for sending me out these processors, though as always, it won't affect this video. Anyway, for the GPU, I used a 5700 XT, and the reason I did that instead of say a 2080 Ti is because this isn't really a review. See, a CPU review uses the best GPU and tests at lower resolutions to remove any GPU bottleneck, but that doesn't really show what kind of difference you can actually expect. Most people who get a 3300X aren't pairing it with a 2080 Ti, so when seeing if four cores is good enough, seeing that difference in performance doesn't really help. Also, I really doubt most would put the 3300X with a 5700XT, but I wanted to use the absolute best card that I thought would be paired with the 3300X. For those who don't know, a bottleneck is simply the part of a chain that slows down the rest of the process. If the CPU is done with its current task and waiting on the GPU to render a frame, it doesn't matter how fast your CPU is. And in gaming, your GPU is typically the bottleneck because it's doing most of the work. So with that out of the way, when it comes to the results, I have to admit that I was really surprised. That's impossible! I figured at 1440p, the 5700XT would likely become more of the bottleneck, but I thought there would at least be some difference. Well, as you can see at 1440p, the difference mostly falls within the margin of error. And it didn't stop there. I was sure that at 1080p, the 3300X would begin showing its failings, but as you can see, the difference is really small, and the 6-core processor even lost in areas. At this point, I was pretty stunned, and I got to thinking that maybe it was the cores I deactivated. Maybe it was having to use additional steps between the interconnect or something. So I ended up just reactivating them, meaning I had the full 8-core 16-thread 3700X. But even here, while the FPS went up slightly in some games, it really wasn't much of a difference. To illustrate what I mean, Gears of War Tactics has a cool benchmark that gives you the percentage of what's essentially bottlenecking your system between the CPU and GPU. And when testing the 3300X at 1080p, you can see the game was 98.91% GPU bound and only 1.09% CPU bound. Basically, the GPU was almost entirely the bottleneck. So is 4 cores still good for gaming? Well, yes, it's actually still great at keeping up. Sure, if you had, say, a 2080 Ti or even 2080, you would likely need more cores to keep up. But even a 5700 XT is your bottleneck before the Ryzen 3300X. Of course, I didn't test too many games, so some other games may actually use more. But at least in everything I tried, there really wasn't. With all of that said, if you need to stream on the same PC that you're gaming on, or if you like to do more professional workloads, you'll probably want more horsepower. But if you're thinking about getting a lesser GPU for a more powerful CPU, I wouldn't do it. Sure, you could argue that it's easier to upgrade the GPU, but even if you get the 5700 XT's successor, games will be more demanding or say if you're using ray tracing, which would likely still make the GPU your bottleneck. With that said, I can't predict the future, but as of now, the GPU is still the gamer's most important component. Really, I suggest keeping your hardware around the same price bracket. Either way, gaming on a 4-core, 8-thread CPU is still very much doable. So while that does it for today, what do you think of AMD's new Ryzen 3 processor? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you want to keep up with hardware releases and great deals, make sure to subscribe to the GamerMeld newsletter in the description. And as always, have a great day.